Central Lakes College is also moving forward in its relationship with educators from other countries. We told you about the Thailand connection last month, and this month we report on efforts to provide learning opportunities in Finland and Haiti. A five-person delegation from CLC spent a week in Finland to explore common interests in natural resources, mathematics, and historical drama. Led by President Larry Lundblad, the group included Dr. Bill Faber and Gary Carson of the Natural Resources faculty, math instructor Jean Matala from our College and Schools program at Staples, and English adjunct faculty Donna Solly, who is a Finnish-American. The trip enabled our natural resources instructors to talk with Finnish forestry and wildlife experts about potential internships and exchanges for both Finnish and American students. They also toured some of Finland's exceptional natural areas, including a, natural, a national park featuring some familiar tree species. The trip produced some insight into mechanisms that have put Finland at the top among students learning mathematics. Jean Matala said after visiting Finland, he believes the reason Finnish students have the highest math scores is cultural. Jean told me that their students in Finland work in class, in class and outside of class, and they value education and they want more. And this belief is instilled in them from an early age and reinforced in school and at home throughout their schooling. Now for Donna Sali, the trip produced the world premiere of her play, The Rock Farm, which stems from memories and historical records of Finnish immigrants to the Upper Midwest. Theater Fiasco had visited the area a year ago to perform the Finnish epic poem in a poignant staging as part of the Central Lakes College Cultural Arts Series. That visit provided the seed for the CLC delegation traveling to Finland last month. I'm a writer, and I'm interested in theater both as an actor and as a writer. I'm also Finnish by descent. So when my husband Bruce and I had the chance to host the theater fiasco director, Tuade Hindika, we said yes. So it was actually Tuade who hatched this idea that I should adapt some of my essays and poems for the stage. She said, wouldn't it be great if you come to Finland next year and we could do your script in Finland? We'll do it in Finnish. Of course I said yes. So I did adapt several of my essays and my poems. Most of them had been published before, so it wasn't really hard to do because I knew them very well and I was confident about them. I created this family. It's a fictional family, the Kivistos and the Corpies, who married. They're not my family, but I did give them a lot of my own family history. So in that sense, my play is a historical play. I like to write about my background because I think it's what made me who I am and I think that everybody should be interested in who they are and where they're from. In writing my play, I also wanted to say to people both here in the United States and to the people in Finland that I am a Finn. I'm an American, but I'm also still a Finn. I wanted to get that message across. Going to Finland helped me understand myself better. I got to visit the house where my mother's father was living when he left for America. I got to stand in the living room of that house, which is now a shed, and I looked out over the fields that he'd looked out over as he left, and I understood why he would never leave America to go back to Finland. He said he just couldn't stand to go through the pain of having to leave it again. I think standing in that house and thinking the way my grandfather was thinking helped me to understand why I feel the way I feel about my family home in Upper Michigan, the house that that grandfather built, and the place where I set the play, Upper Michigan. Writing when you're a poet or an essayist or a fiction writer is a very lonely kind of work. But what I've discovered about writing for the theater is that it's all about community. You get to see the actors and the director. You get to see what they add. You get to see the audience. You get to sit there and hear them and see how they're responding to what you've written. 
my play was translated into Finnish, which I don't speak. So it was strange to sit there and watch it in Finnish. But it didn't matter. The message came through. The feeling came through. Uh, the whole experience transcended cultural barriers. It transcended linguistic barriers. The audience was into the play. They were with the actors. And so in that sense, they were with me, too. Going to Finland changed me. And it wasn't just that I'm Finnish. The year I finished graduate school, I took a trip to England, and I taught there for a month. And that changed me, too, but in a different way. That trip gave me my literary roots in the same way that Finland gave me my ethnic roots. The reason that I went to Finland and the reason that I went to England was because time spent in a country not your own changes you. It doesn't change you intellectually. It changes you from the inside out. CLC is now working really hard to establish exchanges and study abroad for our students. I can't say this strongly enough. I hope that people in our community will take advantage of those programs. It is so worth it.